Hello, this is Tov from Trifold Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can create low poly rocks very quickly and easily with a free add on called Low Poly Rock Generator. It's open source, which means it's free. I'll leave a description of that uh, or a link of that in the description below this video. And what you want to do is when you've uh, opened the, uh, the link, this is what you'll get. You're going to copy and paste uh, this text into Blender's text editor. Let me close that out. And then once you've done that, you're going to go back to Blender, open up your text editor and paste it in there and save it as a .py add-on. Uh, I've done the tu tutorial on this already and I'll save that also in the, the uh, description below this video. I'll put it in there. And once you've done that, you're going to go to File and the User Preference. And then you're going to go to install add-on from file. I've already done that also. You're going to click on this. And you're going to, when it comes up, this add-on will show up. And you just make sure you check this uh, checkbox. And you're going to save the user settings. Let me close that out. And once you've done that, let's turn this to cycles render. And this is for 2.79, not 2.8. And the good thing about it is when, once you've made the rocks in 2.7, now you can easily transfer them over to 2.8 as a, a OBJ object file or append and link it into 2.8. And 2.8 will be collections, not, um, it'll be called collections in 2.8. But once you've installed the add-on, let's delete this cube. You're going to press Shift A. From the pop-up menu, you'll see this list here. Go down to Little Poly Rock. It'll be right there. Click on that. And then there you go. There's your rock. And it's pretty much self-explanatory. It's got a lot of parameters you can adjust to get the rocks you want to, want, it, you want to obtain. And the good thing about this is that once you've made the adjustments to the rock, it just changes it quite a bit. Now, this is like the uh, fifth or tenth time I've recorded this tutorial because every time I've gone to the parameters I've tried to adjust them for some reason it freezes up my computer and I have to restart it again so I'm just going to go through a couple of these parameters and and it's just the same process for all the parameters if you want more than just one rock you just click on this uh, number and it increases the number of rocks that you're going to get and I think it goes up to 10 let's go back to one this changes the size of the, of the rock overall can go up to uh, whatever number you want to go up to now this changes the size of the rock on different axes this obviously for the, is for the y-axis this is for the or this is for the x-axis this is for the y-axis and this is for the z and this gives it like a random change these down here this is for the noise on the x y and z axis also to increase the noise on those parameters and those angles I guess and this makes uh, causes the rock to be simple or complex if you raise up the simplicity level it makes the rock simpler if you lower it, it makes it more a little bit more complex but remember this is still low poly so it won't be just highly detailed it'll be you know somewhat somewhat detailed but not too detailed this uh, affects the sharpness of the edges of the rock this causes the rock to pretty much change randomly the random seed now is zero just click on that to one it'll change the shape of the rock actually that's what it does it in small increments so you won't really see like drastic changes unless you make it like extreme an extreme number let's put that back down to zero and once I said once like I said before this is pretty much self-explanatory all these parameters affect the size and the dimensions of the rock you can click on advanced settings also and this here changes the pattern of the rock the verona veronoi weights because if you look in the blender it has a veronoi pattern in the, one of the shaders and that's pretty much just like clouds so it'll put pits in the rock and make it look different as you increase the size of the, these parameters here Subdivisions, you can increase that more to get more uh, subdivisions in your rock to give, give it a more realistic look. And you have to remember, once you set those parameters, 
and you're sure that that's where you want them to be, if you press tab to go into edit mode, it automatically deletes everything, all the parameters. So make sure that once you've set all the parameters, if you want to edit it further individually by pulling individual vertices or faces in edit mode, you're going to have to make sure that you're satisfied with the changes that you've already made. And once again, with this, this uh, generator, it doesn't generate textures. It just generates the mesh or the models themselves. And to apply texture to the rock itself, I've already done a tutorial on that also. But I'll just do a quick overview of, of that. And I'll still leave a link of it in the description below this video. You're going to have to go to uh, the Material tab. Click on that. And then click New. And it's going to bring up obviously the uh, textures here and you can pull this down and turn this to the note editor let's click on note editor and we're going to get rid of this press X to, or just delete to delete that then shift a and you're going to go to the principal shader click that attach it and then here make sure that the node wrangler has been enabled and I've also done the video on that too, enabled in your uh, user preference. And you press Control T, which is the shortcut for that. Let me see, Control T. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. And it works today, so that's that's a good thing. So let's press G to pull this up. So we can see what we're looking at. Click on Texture, and then turn this to from UV to generate it. And we're going to click on Open here. So we can choose a texture really quick. Uh, let me see. Let's go up. This is in my external hard drive. Let's look for, let me look for blended textures. I'm trying to pretty much speed this up because I really don't want to record this again. <laughs> it's like the 10th time I have had to do this because uh, like I mentioned before, uh, my system freezes up and it's got a pretty much a brand new strong graphics card installed into it so I don't know why it's actually doing that but let's click on this texture here click on op open image and then let's turn this uh, the viewport to material and you can see that we've applied a texture to it but it's pretty much stretched out of proportion it looks pretty weird and bad but to fix that we're going to change this from flat and image texture to box and there you go, it looks a lot better. So that's how you can pretty much make a low poly rock in Blender using that free add-on that I referenced. And once again, I'll leave a description of that, or a link of that in the description below this video, plus the other two that I mentioned, the other two tutorials about applying textures. And the other one that I mentioned also, which was how to turn a script into a .py add-on. But once again, that's today's Blender quick tip. I hope this was helpful to you who are listening. And um, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. You have a great night and take it easy. All right, bye.